Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on data structures. In our previous two tutorials, we learned about linked list. And there we saw how to solve problems that we face to working with arrays. And we also learned the advantages and disadvantages of linked list. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to implement linked list using C programming. We know a linked list is a collection of nodes and each node has two fields. One is called information field that holds data and other is called link field that holds the address of next node. So here we declare node as a data type which will have two parts, one to store data and another to store address. In C, we declare such data type using structure. So I am going to write a struct, then write the structure name, let's say node. First part contain data and which will be an integer type. So I am going to write here int data. Second part will contain the address of next node. So it will be a pointer to node. I am going to write here struct node star and the name of the variable is next. The variable next will contain the address of next node. Suppose this is a linked list with three nodes. The only information that we know is the address of the first node or head node. The address of the first node is stored to another variable, let's say start. And the type of the variable is pointer to node. This is the only information that we keep to access the linked list. Each of the node has two fields. The type of the first field is integer and second field is pointer to node or node star. So we declare the start variable as struct node star start. Initially when the list is empty something like this means there is no node in the list. The pointer start should point nothing so we initialize it as null. Ok let's back to the coding. Here I am going to initialize the start pointer to null, struct node start start equal to null. Next we will insert the node in the list, but before inserting a node we need to create a node. Here I am going to declare two pointer variable of type node, struct node star new node and star current. Creating a node means allocate some memory space to store a node. In C, we use malloc function to reserve memory space dynamically. So I am going to write here malloc. And inside the parenthesis, we need to specify the size of bytes that we want. Here we want some byte to store a node. So I am going to write here size of struct node and we need to collect this to a variable that is new node equal to this. malloc returns a void pointer that gives us the address of assigned block but new node is a pointer to node so we need to typecasting here. Typecasting is nothing but force the compiler to explicitly convert the value of an expression to a particular data type. Here we convert void star to node star so I am going to write here struct node star. Now we have already allocated space in memory for a node. Our next task is to enter data to the node and adjust the address. I am going to ask user to enter data. Printf, please enter the data. Next we need to read the data that the user enter. So I am going to write here scanf, percent %d, and here we refer ampersand new node arrow data. Here we use a new sign that is arrow. We use structure element using a dot operator. But here new node is not a structure variable but a pointer to structure. In C to refer structure element using a pointer to structure we need to use arrow operator. Arrow operator is actually combination of two operators one hyphen and one angular bracket. Next we assign null to the address field of newly created node. So I am going to write here new node arrow next equal to null. 
So node is created. Our next task is to adjust the address. Let's see how to do it. Suppose this is a node that we have created and the address of this node is 150. Now we adjust the address between start variable and newly created node. So what we do here? Here first we check start variable is equal to null or not. So I'm going to write here if start equal to equal to null. If it's so we give the address of new node to start that is start equal to new node. So now start contain 150. The next thing that we do we copy the new node to the variable current that is current equal to new node. So now this is the current node. The next thing is if the start variable is not null then what happen? Suppose here we want to insert another node and the address of this node is 100. So first it check this condition if start equal to equal to null. No it is false. Then it will execute the else block. Now see the picture. This is the current node and this is the new node. We give here the address of new node. That is current of next equal to new node. So now this part contain 100. After inserting the node, new node will be the current node that is current equal to new node and the insertion is completed. I am going to copy this code and paste here. The next thing is if we want to continue this process means if we want to create more than one node then we need to execute this section again and again and we can do it using a do while loop. So I am going to ask user do you want to create another node? Printf We read the user choice by using a function is called get che So I am going to write here ch equal to get che Since get che returns a character value so we need to declare ch as a character type variable I am going to write here char ch Next I am going to write here do give here the starting braces and here the closing braces. Next we check the condition here while ch not equal to n means when we press any character except n control go here and execute this section again. So insertion is completed our next task is to print the list. I am going to write here printf the link list is here we check the start variable until it is null we continue to printing so I am going to write here while start not equal to null then I am going to write here printf percent d arrow and here we refer start arrow data. Next we initialize start equal to start next. At the end we print null to indicate the end of the list. So I am going to write here printf null. Let's check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here it asks for the data. I am going to enter 12. Then it asks you do you want to create another node. I am going to press yes. Please enter the data. I am going to enter 46. Do you want to create another node? Yes. I am going to enter 35. Again yes. I am going to enter 50. Do you want to create another node? No and the link list is 12, 46, 35, 50 and then null. See here every time we insert a node in the list it is inserted at the end of the list. First we insert 12 then we insert 46 46 is inserted after 12 then we insert 35 35 is inserted after 46 and this process is continue. That's it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Next tutorial, we discuss how to insert a node at the beginning of the list. 
Thanks for watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt. You can like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on Google Plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt.